Hello and welcome to NDTV 24-7. I'm Priyanshi Sharma. Let's get you a quick check on the top news stories of the day. Our lead story, the head of the jury of the 53rd International Thank Film you. Festival of India, has slammed the movie Kashmir Files, calling it a propaganda and a vulgar movie. The Israeli filmmaker Nadav Lapid and jury head of the International Film Festival of India, the IFFI, that is being held in Goa, added that the jury was disturbed and shocked to see the film being screened at the festival. The Kashmir Files was selected for the Indian Panorama section and was screened on 22nd November. The special screening was also attended by Anupam Kher, who also stars in the movie. Listen in to what the jury had said. 15 films in the international competition, the front window of the festival. 14 out of them had their cinematic qualities and defaults and evoked uh, vivid discussions. We were, all of us, uh, disturbed and shocked by the 15th film, by the movie Kashmir Files, that felt to us like a propaganda vulgar movie inappropriate for an artistic competitive section of such a prestigious film festival. I feel totally comfortable to share uh, openly these feelings here with you on stage, since uh, the spirit that we felt in the festival can surely accept also a critical discussion, which is essential for art and for life. Thanks a lot. Now moving on to the other big story, a police van carrying Aftab Amin Poonawala, who's the prime accused in the horrific murder of his girlfriend Shraddha Walkar in Delhi. He was attacked by a group of sword-wielding men this evening. The police controlled the situation and Aftab Poonawala was taken out safely. The attack happened when the police van was taking Poonawala back to jail from West Delhi's Forensic Science Laboratory after his second polygraph test. That's when this police van carrying Aftab Poonawala was attacked. Uh, was attacked. The attack took place outside the forensic lab building. The attackers claimed to be members of the right-wing association Hindu Sena, but the organization distanced uh, itself from these attackers, saying that the organization does not support any such work which is against the constitution of India. <laughs> My colleague Ankit spoke to Aftab's lawyer on what this could mean for the security of the prime accused in the Shraddha Walkar case. Listen in. आपने थोड़ी देर पहले ये visuals देखे सर किस तरीके से Aftab जिस गाड़ी में जा रहा था उसको FSL lab से ले जा रहे थे उसपे हमला हुआ इसपे आपकी क्या प्रतिक्रिया है What is your reaction to this? देखिए judicial process है जो इसको अभी investigation का part है police investigation कर रही है उसको शांति से करने दिया जाए अभी ट्रायल होगी ट्रायल में सबको सामने आएगी तो अभी इसमें जल्दीबाजी और लोगों का मूवमेंट है तो पुलिस को शांत करनी चाहिए ये कुछ इस तरीके का पहले खतरा डिड ही एक्सप्रेस एनी फियर आफताब नो आफताब हैज नॉट एक्सप्रेस फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ फियर नाउ विल इट हैव एन इंपैक्ट ऑन द केस आर यू गोइंग टू इनफैक्ट अप्रोच द कोर्ट विल इट हैव एन इंपैक्ट ऑन द केस राइट नाउ Yeah, I will move an application before the concerned court for the protection of proper protection of the staff. जो है तो आप अभी जाएंगे कोर्ट में इसका जैसे अभी तक जो पुलिस की इन्वेस्टिगेशन है उसमें आपके आफताब से बातचीत भी हुई होगी क्या निकलकर अभी सामने आ रहा है आफताब ने आपको क्या बताया है नहीं आफताब ने जो भी बताया है वो अभी वो मैं अभी डिस्कलोज नहीं कर सकता हूँ पर अब उन्होंने बस केस में प्रॉपर सहयोग कर रहे हैं प्रॉपर पुलिस को भी सहयोग कर रहे हैं बस आपको ये इस इंसिडेंट के बाद लगता है कि एडिशनल सिक्योरिटी की मांग होनी चाहिए आफताब के लिए आपके आपके हिसाब से आप कितनी बार बात कर पाए हैं आफताब से अभी आफताब से मुझे दो बार से बात हुई है सर और क्या उसके परिवार से भी आप बात कर पाए 
नहीं किन लाओं में परिवार से अभी बात नहीं किया हूँ पर जब जरूरत होगी तो मैं ऑब्वियसली मैं बात करने की कोशिश करूंगा और बहुत जल्द बात करूंगा विल यू बी मूविंग विल यू बी ट्राइंग एंड मीट आफ्ताब आफ्टर दिस इंसिडेंट मे बी टूमोरो Not tomorrow, but in this coming week, I will uh, try to meet with Abdul Jalil. Has he said anything about uh, this entire case? Has he spoken about Shraddha? No, till now he has not uh, taken the name of the Shraddha. Also, not told about the Shraddha. And uh, does he still maintain he is innocent? Like you said, he has not confessed. Does he say he is innocent or uh, he has committed this crime? No, he has not confessed till time that I have committed the crime. Today. Now moving on a college teacher in Karnataka has been suspended for comparing a muslim student with a terrorist in a, in a class last week a video of the student hitting back uh, at his teacher has now gone viral the incident took place on friday at the manipal institute of technology in udp the professor had reportedly asked the student his name and on hearing a muslim name a name he uh, the professor said oh you are like kasab in a widely shared video now the student was heard confronting the professor and saying 2611 was not funny being a muslim in this country and facing all of this every day is just not funny responding to this manipal institute said that the institute doesn't does uh, condone this kind of behavior and the institute institute prides itself on having the biggest diversity on campus <laughs> it was supreme court versus uh, the center uh, the supreme court questioned the government's delay in clearing judicial appointments saying that it was crossing the rubicon the top court talks uh, 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 had these tough remarks on delay in judges uh, appointments they said the names are not being cleared how will the system work names of some judges are pending for over a year it appears that the government is not happy that njac was not upheld and uh, the, in remember in 2015 the government set up the national judicial appointment commission and the supreme court struck it down the supreme court said re that resolve the issue don't force us to decide on the judicial side the attorney general on the other side said had discussions with secretaries and let me weed out the issue the Attorney General also assured the court that he will work to resolve the deadlock. The centre's lawyer has now sought time from the court, and the matter is now posted for December eighth. The court also gave a thumbs down to Law Minister Kiran Rijiju's recent comment that the collegium system was alien to the constitution. The court said that someone that high makes such remarks, it should not have happened, and we convey our sentiment to the government. That's what the Supreme Court said to the centre's lawyers. And moving on, a high-pitched last leg of the Gujarat campaigns as the first phase of the polling will be held on December 1st. It will be a three-way race for Gujarat, the BJP versus Aam Aadmi Party versus the Congress. PM Modi went all out in his home state in the campaign. Home Minister Amit Shah invoked the 2002 riots on his campaign trail. Meanwhile, Aam Aadmi Party national convener Arvind Kejriwal promised to end unemployment and paper leaks as the Aam Aadmi Party aimed. to emerge as the third front in Gujarat uh, meanwhile the congress president uh, malakarjun kharge launched a scathing attack on three bjp chief ministers in 6 years चूंटनी पचीस वर्ष नो निर्णय करने आ कोग्रेस एट कच्छनी घोर दुश्मन 
कच्छ में पानी न पहुंचे एना जे लोग खेल करता था एमनी जोड़े एमनी जुगलबंदी थी एमनी जोड़े दोस्ती थी नरेन्द्र भाई सरकार बनी बेहजार फरी वार अटक चारो कर नरेन्द्र भाई रमथाणो करावा वाला ने बेहजार एवं पाठ भड़ा के बेहजार बीस सुधी कोई जगह कर्फ्यू नहीं अगले एक साल के अंदर सारी सरकारी नौकरियों की भर्ती पूरी कर दी जाएगी और एक भी पेपर फूटने नहीं देंगे बेरोजगारों के लिए रोजगार का इंतजाम करेंगे और जब तक उनको रोजगार नहीं मिलता तब तक तीन तीन हजार रूपये बेरोजगारी भत्ता दिया जाएगा एक बात चलती है एक बार अगर झूठ बोलेंगे लोग सुन लेंगे दो बार भी बोलेंगे तो भी सुन लेंगे कितने बार झूठ बोलेंगे झूठ पर झूठ ये झूठों के सरदार है Now moving on. Meanwhile, Rahul Gandhi is uh, in his Bharat Jodo Yatra, and the Yatra has reached Indore in Madhya Pradesh. Rahul Gandhi says that the Yatra is raising the voice of the nation, and he said that Yatra is my tapasya. He also reacted to an NDTV interview in which Ashok Gehloth, the Rajasthan Chief Minister, called his Rajasthan rival Sachin Pilot a gaddar or a traitor, and he said he could never be the Chief Minister of the state. Reacting to this interview, Rahul Gandhi said that both leaders. इस यात्रा के क्लियर लक्ष्य में इस यात्रा को डिस्ट्रैक्ट नहीं करना चाहता हूँ मेरी जिम्मेदारी है और एक तरह से मेरी तपस्या है कुछ सोच कर नहीं किया मैंने कि इससे ये फायदा मिलेगा या ये फायदा मिलेगा इससे मुझे कुछ ना मिले तब भी ये मेरी जिम्मेदारी है और इसको मैं करूंगा पूरा करूंगा देखिए मैं इसमें जाना नहीं चाहता हूँ कि किसने क्या कहा ठीक है ये दोनों नेता कांग्रेस पार्टी के एसेट्स हैं मगर मैं आपको एक बात की गारंटी देना दे सकता हूं कि भारत जोड़ो यात्रा पर इसका कोई असर नहीं पड़ने वाला है Now, meanwhile, let's go to the politics in Uttar Pradesh. Now, aside from the high-profile Gujarat Assembly election, a big political battle is playing out in Uttar Pradesh too. The contest for the Mainpuri Lok Sabha bipole, the seat that was vacated after the demise of Samajwadi Party founder Mulayam Singh Yadav, in the fray uh, is from the SP. It's Dimple Yadav, the ex Lok Sabha MP and wife of Party President Akhilesh Yadav. Now, both Dimple Yadav and Akhilesh Yadav have gone all out in working. the legacy of mulayam singh yadav in the campaign the bjp has fielded an ex samajwadi party mp and mla and its big guns led by chief minister yogi adityanath are out campaigning <laughs> An intense Samajwadi Party versus BJP battle for the Mainpuri Lok Sabha bipole in Uttar Pradesh. The seat vacated after the demise of Samajwadi Party founder Mulayam Singh Yadav. The Samajwadi Party that counts Mainpuri as a stronghold, the Yadav family's native village Saifai, is part of the Lok Sabha seat, has fielded Dimple Yadav, ex Lok Sabha MP and Akhilesh Yadav's wife from the seat. Both Dimple and Akhilesh are campaigning separately and invoking Mulayam Singh Yadav's legacy liberally. Dimple Yadav's campaign is driven by small meetings like this one, attended mostly by women and youngsters. Neeta ji, हमारे बीच में अब नहीं है। ये एक मौका है यहाँ इस क्षेत्र की जनता के पास कि वो सच्ची श्रद्धांजलि दे सकें अपने पूजनीय नेता जी को व्हाट्सएप फैक्ट्री के माध्यम से लोगों को भटकाने का काम कर रहे हैं ये सच्चे और जो मुद्दे हैं जो जमीनी मुद्दे हैं ये कभी इन मुद्दों पे बात नहीं करेंगे और ये लोग कभी स्वीकारेंगे नहीं कि जनता जूझ रही है फॉर अखिलेश यादव द मैनपुरी बैटल is uh, समथिंग दैट ही हैव नॉट फॉट सो इन इन सच एन इंटेंस मैनर इन अ लॉन्ग टाइम so for instance you see what he's doing here is that he's campaigning today on a 60 km stretch of a state highway and stopping every 3 to 4 km uh, for uh, small rallies for small addresses that he's making to audiences of not more than 200 300 people uh, his wife and the former uh, lok sabha mp dimple yadav who's the actual candidate from manpuri 
is actually campaigning separately and she is in a separate area where her campaign is happening. Akhilesh Yadav did not campaign at all in the last UP Lok Sabha by poll on the seat he vacated, Azamgarh. The Samajwadi Party lost. This time, the SP chief is spending over 10 hours each day campaigning. ये चुनाव नेताजी के ना रहने पर हो रहा है और यहाँ की जनता से सीधा संबंध नेताजी का था सुख दुख में परेशानी में नेताजी इनके साथ खड़े रहे और यहाँ के लोगों ने समय समय पर नेताजी की मदद की है अखिलेश हैज इवन पैस्ड अप विद हिज अंकल शिवपाल यादव एन इन्फ्लुएंशियल पॉलिटिशियन इन द एरिया in an effort to project a united face but will this be enough in manpuri the bjp in the 2019 national election reduced mulayam singh yadav's winning margin to less than a lakh votes its big guns are out campaigning for the party candidate on the seat an ex samajwadi party politician led by chief minister adityanath who held a rally in manpuri today rashtriya adhyaksh bhi parivar ka mukhyamantri bhi parivar ka राष्ट्रीय महासचिव भी परिवार का सांसद भी परिवार का ब्लॉक प्रमुख भी परिवार का विधायक भी परिवार का परिवार के दायरे से बाहर कोई नहीं निकल पाता है मैनपुरी वोट्स नेक्स्ट मंडे रिजल्ट्स आर आउट ऑन डिसम्बर एट विद अर्षद जमाल एंड कैमरा पर्सन राजेश गुप्ता दिस इज आलोक पांडे एन डी Now let's go to Telangana where the BJP chief Bandi Sanjay has been directed by the high court not to enter Bhaisa as part of his Praja Sangram yatra. The police had a day before denied him permission citing communal sensitivities. Telangana BJP chief Bandi Sanjay is going ahead with the fifth phase of his Praja Sangram yatra though the high court has said he should not enter Bhaisa. Ado samskara ma kundi kabati ee pad yatra sandarbhanga Bhaisa go go to uttar anusar chief. On Sunday, Sanjay was stopped by the Telangana police from going to Bhaisa, citing communal sensitivities in the area. The BJP was planning to hold a public meeting on Monday with Maharashtra's Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis as chief guest. अन्य सारे सेंसिटिव एरिया गवर्नमेंट जानते हैं आवाम जानते हैं सब लोग जानते हैं वो लोग भी जानते हैं अन्य सारे वहाँ पर वो नया नया इश्यू बनाने के लिए ये प्रोग्राम लगा है नॉट जस्ट द बीजेपी चीफ वाई एस आर तेलंगाना पार्टी चीफ वाई एस शर्मिला पाद यात्रा टू वॉज डिस्टर्बेड टूडे आफ्टर हर व्हीकल वॉज सेट ऑन फायर एलिजिडली बाई टी आर एस वर्कर्स इन वारंगल एंड अ क्लैश विथ हर सपोर्टर्स शर्मिला हुज कम्प्लीटेड थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ऑन आर फुट मार्च was taken away by the police just 3 kilometers outside bhaisa the bjp will go ahead and hold a public meeting tomorrow with union minister g kishan reddy as chief guest this comes at a time of heightened tension between the trs and the bjp even as assembly elections are just a year away with camera person nagraju uma sudhir ndtv With that, it's time for a very short break. But on the other side, we'll tell you why there are unprecedented protests in China across major cities. Unprecedented protests are flaring up in China, demanding the Chinese President Xi Jinping to step down. The protests are against the strict. zero covid lockdowns as the country is reporting record high covid cases for the last few days while most of the world is returning to normalcy after the pandemic chinese people are fed up of repeated lockdowns and they have hit the streets across major cities even in the covid epicenter in wuhan there were clashes between the protesters and the police in shanghai too the police detained protesters who were using a blank white paper as a symbol of their protest And finally in case your friends are just not agreeing to that Goa or Ladakh trip here's an idea a travel influencer completed a Ladakh trip with his furry friend he traveled from Delhi to Ladakh on a specially customized motorbike the man took his dog and documented their journey on Instagram 
for the trip, Mr. Raj Kaur installed a carrier on his bike for his dog named Bella. He also trained his dog to sit for a longer duration and he packed his luggage. The video of their journey is now viral on the internet as the pair completed the Zanskar Ladakh circuit.